Hey guys, it's Miss Miller, um, and I'm back with you today to do a lesson with you on writing a narrative story. And this is something that you are going to write, and you're going to put with your packet um, that you got in the mail, and mail it back with your packet. If you didn't get a packet, then you can just um, put it in your Google Classroom or what you know somehow so we can see it. Um, so. This is going to be a, um, a, a fun activity, and before we get started, um, you won't need anything right now, no pencil, no paper, no anything, just listen to me, and then when I'm done, you can get your paper and your pencil and write your story. But first, I want to talk to you about what a narrative story is. And I know, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it says narrative. And the purpose, remember guys, all authors have a purpose, right? We talked about that. The purpose of a narrative is just to entertain. It's just going to be a fun story. Something to entertain people. Make them laugh. Keep them interested. Then a narrative includes the following things. It includes yourself and other people. That'll be your characters. It includes the setting, that is where the story takes place, and the plot, what happens in the story. And remember, when you're talking about what, what's happening in the story, sequence is very important to remember. Because without sequence, which is the order the story happens, your story's not going to make sense. So you want to make sure that you have really good sequence when you are doing your plot. Then your story also can have conflict and resolution. It doesn't always have to have conflict and resolution, but most of the time your story is going to have that. And all that is is a problem and how you solved it. But it's, if your story doesn't have that, it's okay. But that's just something that a narrative can have. It, that's just one thing that it, that's optional. Then you want to have descriptive details. These are um, the, de de the details of your feelings and the events that you talk about in your story. Because if you don't have these key details, the reader is not going to be able to make that picture in their mind when they are reading your story or listening to your story. So remember how we talked about how when you read a book that you make the pictures up in your mind, you see the things happening? That's where these descriptive details come in play. You want to make sure that your story has all these elements. The only optional element is the conflict and resolution. Now, again, I'm going to go over it one last time. Your purpose is just to entertain. Your narrative includes yourself and other people, which that's your characters. The setting, where the story takes place. The plot what happens in the story, and the sequence is very important there, and that's the order things happen. A conflict and resolution, which is a problem, and how the problem was solved is optional. And then descriptive details of your feelings and the events. So we want to know how you feel and what the events looked like or smelled like or sounded like. We want lots of descriptive details. Now, I want you to remember these important things when you go to write your story. I want you to remember that every sentence begins with a capital letter. I also, also want you to remember that you must have punctuation at the end of a sentence. That's like your period, your question mark, your exclamation point. And your sentence must make sense. Your sentence needs to be talking about, it has to have a subject and tell them what the subject's doing. Okay? So these are important points to remember when you're writing your story. Now, the topic for your story, you can pick between any of these story starters. As you can see, this one is called, My Favorite Place to Go Is, and you would start your story with that sentence. My favorite place to go is, and you would continue writing using those elements that we talked about on the poster. You could write, if I could fly, and then you would 
continue writing. If you could fly, write a story about that. Um, when I grow up, I want to, and you can write a story about that. The best day ever was, and you write, you can write a story about that. If I were a superhero, I would, and you would continue your story. And the last one, if I could be an animal, I would be, and you would write a story about that. So here are your story starters. I'm going to leave those up for just a minute. So you can look at those if you need to pause and figure out which one you want to write about. That'll be fine too. So I'm going to give you just a second to figure out which one you would like to use. I'll read them one more time. My favorite place to go is... If I could fly, when I grow up, I want to. The best day ever was. If I were a superhero, I would. If I could be an animal, I would be. So those are the things that you can pick from when you are writing your narrative story. These are your story starters. You only pick one. You only have to write one story. Now, if you want to do more, that's fine too. But you only are... Um, you only need to do responsible for one story okay I'm gonna hold my poster up for just one more minute in case you want to pause and jot down some notes or something or read the, the poster again and give you that opportunity and the reminders for when you're writing your story if you want to take a note of that there's that. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you all so much. And I can't wait to be able to see and um, talk to you again in person. And I just hope you all stay safe and healthy.